What's up, y'all? My name is Aaron Mallory, a.k.a. Mr. Let Go, and this is going to be a very good video for a lot of people. We're about to talk about why do men hide their emotions? Let's get it. We as males didn't really see a need for being emotional because it didn't really get us anywhere. Our parents didn't like it. Our buddies didn't like it. Even girls didn't like it. So we get to a point where we don't really see a reason for it. All right, the first direction I feel like I have to go is our childhood. Because at the end of the day, regardless of who the person is, their childhood really would give you the answers to why that particular person or why that particular sex is the way they are. Have you ever noticed that the average little boy is usually more emotional than the average little girl. Because, see, little boys, they are in some type of way putting themselves in harm's way a little more often than little girls are. You know, a little boy will go outside, he'll climb a tree, he'll ride a bike, he'll try to do tricks on it. He will be using a bike to jump ramps and venture off farther than the girl would usually want to venture off to. The boy would want to go down to the creek or do this and do that. And the result of these things are injuries. So the boy would come home crying. The boy would get this attention from mom or from dad because of what he's done to himself or done to somebody else because boys would most likely get into fights faster than little girls would. So he has more of an opportunity to express his emotions through pain faster than a little girl would. And this is when the emotional dynamic between the boy and his parents starts to change. Because once the boy hurts himself, he'll get a response from the parent. Either suck it up, stop being a little girl, boys don't cry, be a man. And what ends up happening is at an early age, we get to the point where we start trying to figure out how to get the attention that we need, the validation that we need from our parents if we can't express ourselves. And as males, we begin to innately learn the ability to compartmentalize. And compartmentalization is really how men operate in almost every situation. And compartmentalization is simply having the ability to separate your thoughts, separate your emotions, separate the things that you have going on in your life in drawers. Imagine a woman's thoughts though. It's kind of like walking into a walk-in closet. You got your shoes, you got your purses, you got your pants, you got your tops, you got your dresses. Everything is right there in front of you. But with a guy, he has to access the things through the drawers, right? Have you ever asked a man, what did he do that day? Most likely he'll stop for a minute and say, uh, that is him pulling out one of the drawers accessing the information. But if you were to ask a woman what went on in her day and how her day was, she'd be able to let you know virtually every part of her day in full detail. So that gives you a good understanding of how men think. Now let's go back to the subject of why men hide their emotions. So sometimes I just wanna tell people how I feel, but I'm like, dang, they are gonna use it against you. That's how we look at it. So we right. bottle everything up. But you're supposed to express yourself. I had to learn everything myself. That put me in a whole different state, like an emotional roller coaster. And I say that to say this. I did tell my mom, like, yo, mom, like, mom, please, man, come up here and see me, mom. Like, I need you, like, like in tears, writing. If you don't man up, I'm like, I ain't even telling you no more. It's right. good. That's all you need to tell me. Like, I can't even show you it hurt. So now I don't show nobody it hurt. Now, along with the programming that we get as kids, you know, tough it up, stop being a girl, be a man, be a big boy. As we get older, a lot of the things in our life actually starts to confirm this same thought process because other guys are doing this. Other guys are like looking to just be tough and, and be non-emotional. And as young people, to be honest with you, we as males didn't really see a need for being emotional because it didn't really get us anywhere. Our parents didn't like it. Our buddies didn't like it. Even girls didn't like it. So we get to a point where we don't really see a reason for it. 
So just imagine spending the majority of your life not doing something and all of a sudden somebody that you care about wants you to start doing it. It's not necessarily that easy. So to hear somebody that we care about simply ask us, articulate your feelings. Tell me how you feel. What is going on? But some of us is like, um, I don't know. I'm happy or I'm sad or I'm angry. But what we don't realize as men, there are categories under anger, categories under sadness. There are categories under fear. And that's a very important one because a lot of men, we are in tune with our anger, but we usually don't know why we're angry. A lot of the times when men are angry, it's because of fear. Anger is actually under the category of fear. So we don't know these things even as adults, because we don't have the muscle memory of being emotional. We've gotten shut down as children so many times where we shut it off. To a certain degree, asking a certain type of man to articulate his feelings to you is almost like looking in a junk drawer for something that he never even seen before. Imagine that, you're going through a junk drawer, you're seeing all these different things, and you're looking for something, but you actually never seen it before. How do you find it? How do you access it? You can't. So what is the answer to this? It's actually very simple. Ask more questions about us. When I say us, I mean how we feel about ourselves. Not about an event, not about a problem, not about you, not about your dynamic with us. Our dynamic with us our dynamic with the world, our dynamic with other men. How do we feel about where we are in our lives emotionally, professionally, financially? See, the truth is we don't really feel like anybody really cares about what we think. So we just don't say anything. Our emotions or our lack of emotions aren't really that important to other people in our minds. So we just keep things to ourselves. One of the reasons why we hold in our emotions is not just because we don't wanna feel judged by somebody, it's because we don't really feel listened to anyway. You know, if I say you hurt me, you hurt my feelings, I don't necessarily know how you're going to respond to that. It can easily be passive aggressive, like, mm, well, uh, I, I see somebody is, uh, is upset today, or it can be a certain amount of deflection that'll come from it. Well, what about when you hurt me yesterday? And this is going on and on and on in a guy's perception of what you're saying or what we're receiving from you. Well, we just get to the point where we just like, all right, whatever. You know, so what I'm telling you is there's a possibility that we are articulating our emotions in our own way. It may be a way that we're expressing ourselves. We may be telling you that you hurt my feelings, but you're being dismissive to it or you're being deflective and you're telling me what, what I did to you instead of you actually hearing me. So I would say it's really simple to get a man to open up and understand why and how a man expresses his feelings about how he really feels about himself, not about you, because a man can tell you how he feels about you, but how he feels about himself. See, these are the things that really affect how we feel in our emotions. We don't get those questions. How do you feel about yourself? You know, from a lot of women, from a woman's perspective is usually how do you feel about me? How do you feel about us? How do you feel about this? But nobody ever asks us, how do we feel about ourselves? Let's do this. Let me know in the comments what your biggest fear is. I wanna start the dialogue about emotions between men and women. I think this is something that we all should talk about a lot more and it'll help men open up about their emotions. Because like I said, it's way bigger than just being afraid or being angry or being sad or being happy. Let's go deeper with this. If this video helped you, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, 
leave a comment, like the video. A lot of people forget to like the video and watch this playlist about how men think. Y'all have a wonderful day.